So let's start this off with some positives, though I would argue the video is very positive as, you know, we're enjoying some salt. But regardless, uh, there's a lot of good stuff to say about Sonic. It has the biggest video game movie opening ever. It's likely going to pass De Detective Pikachu, which if you think about it is pretty crazy considering Pokemon is humongous. That's probably one of the biggest video game franchises there is, and Sonic's going to do better than that. It really shows you kind of a couple of things, the power of nostalgia, and so on and so on. But the biggest thing is that it shows you the it shows you the power of fans, listening to fans, respecting fans, treating them right. The movie director, the cast, everyone's been going around praising fans, thanking them. Uh, this has worked out very well for Paramount. Paramount's had a pretty rough year, also. Uh, they haven't had a big movie. I want to point out, like this article does here, uh, since Mission Impossible. Fallout, which was back in 2018. Don't forget, they lost a lot of money last year because of Terminator Woke Fate, which had a disastrous run, and for obvious reasons. And this movie kind of helps them rebound a little bit. Maybe this will also stop the studio from making garbage like Terminator Woke Fate. Uh, it's like two old franchises, Sonic and Terminator. Which one, you know, you know, what when we make another movie based on a franchise, let's go ahead and model after Sonic. Hopefully, that's what they'll do. But of course, the media doesn't want to let this movie success go, and they're still trying to go after it. I, I argue this movie is the new Joker. Because you remember how they treated Joker, how they went after it, how they attacked it all the time, acted like it was the worst thing ever. They're doing the same thing here. I don't have to go far to find stuff like this. This is another movie review, and I want to point out that this isn't an old one. This was put out February 19th. And I'm going to show you a couple more. Okay. Remember Joker? How they went after that movie? How they were salty about its success? It's the same thing here. And they're doing this for a reason. They're releasing these newer reviews and these newer articles bagging on Sonic. Because when you Google Sonic the Hedgehog, re like, new, like right now, like, okay, like, let's put a theoretical question in your mind. You feel like going to see this movie. You haven't went and saw it yet. So you want to go see it. Let's go ahead and look up what's going on with Sonic. Well, you're going to see stuff like this pop up. What they, what, In my mind, what they're trying to do here is kill word of mouth. You know, is this a good film? People are talking about it. People are having a good time. And they're telling their friends. So that curious moviegoer that looks it up, they want to kill this person's desire to see the film. That's what I think is going on here. Because they don't want this film to be successful. And it's really funny to me. It's the same formula they used for Joker, and it backfired spectacularly. I bet you this movie makes half a half a billion. Easy, because of these clowns. I was rooting for the Sonic movie to be bad, but it's not even so bad. It's good. This is just one example. We can click on another one. The Sonic movie should have had people puking in their seats. You don't have to go far. See this one? Film review, Sonic the Hedgehog isn't a movie, it's a boardroom meeting. The movie succeeds only when it's plugging its half a dozen corporate tie-ins. Why is that bad now? Every movie has corporate tie-ins. It's in every movie, but of course it's only going to be pointed out here so that we can make another negative article about the movie. They're going to do this the whole run. The whole run you're going to see this. Then you're going to see people posting stuff like this. Because they're still salty about Birds of Prey, which I love. Discussing film says, Sonic the Hedgehog is expected to have earned $68 million in its four-day domestic box office opening weekend. This is from February 16th. And then you got this guy that posted this. Looks like toxic white males turned out for this one and ignored Birds of Prey because there's nothing that men hate more than seeing women succeed, especially in a genre that encroaches on their turf. So you're still seeing this all the time. People are so salty about this film. <laughs> and I think it's absolutely hilarious. I'm actually having a good time, a good time researching this stuff and, and watching the salt pour. Rotten Tomatoes. Of course, you know, I like to point out they have no verified audience quotes, in case you didn't know that. Uh, we can go ahead and look at the, the meter here as it's holding up. It's been a few days now. 63% by critics. 94% audience score. Look at how many people have rated this film. Over 11,000, probably be 12,000 by next week. 
probably more, to be honest. I, I bet you it'll be at 12 by Sunday. Uh, critics are going to keep pouring in, review bombing it. It's just funny to watch. They don't get who this film is for, you know. Just like they say here at the Guardian, Sonic the Hedgehog is designed for fans. No wonder critics hate it. How dare you? I was really surprised to see this this article come out of the Guardian because usually they don't write stuff like this. They line up with the rest of the shills. But Keith Stewart here has a really good point in his article where he says the movie was made for fans because him and his kids grew up playing. He grew up playing the games and his kids grew up playing the games because, you know, he shared it with them. They watched some of the cartoons. They knew what to expect from this movie. How the how the film had nods to the zones in the games. Jim Carrey's Robotnik being obsessed with flying mechs and all this stuff, like his mechanized, you know, little ship that he was flying around in. This film was made for fans. And when the fans weren't happy, what did they do? They made changes to make the fans happy. Critics don't like happy fans. You know, they want subverted expectations and all this stuff. They don't want to see fans cater to. They want to be the voice to the, of the fans. And you, you've, you've seen last year, as you know, media has seen a lot of layoffs, particularly outfits like Vice, BuzzFeed. They've all seen a ton of layoffs because nobody cares what these people have to say. They've spent the past couple of years trying to lecture fans. Fans have turned their backs on them. So now anytime fans find joy in anything, they want to destroy it. That's why you've seen Sonic get downvoted. So... Yeah, I wonder, you know, how, how much further will they take this? I'd like to see this film make half a billion, and I think it will. Could maybe make more than that. We'll see. It depends on how much they, they rail on this movie. Uh, at this point, they're generating dollars for it because nobody trusts them anymore. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I'd like to know what your guys' thoughts on this are. Do you think they're making this the new Joker? I do. Uh, are you enjoying the salt? Because it's going to keep coming. Anyway, throw your likes up, leave me your comments, share the video. Also, make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.